This is awesome to have you here just moments after the big moments. I, I read your lips and when it was going up. You said, I can't believe this to your wife. Yeah. Can you believe it now, moments later? <laughs> it's still still too fresh, but um, yeah, like your whole career kind of just kind of flashes through your, through your eyes and you, you take back everything, all that hard work you put in and all the support you had over the, the years and to see it end in your jersey being retired is truly remarkable. Curtis Brown, welcome to the program. Yeah, it's good to be here. A couple farmers from Saskatchewan on this <laughs> side of the set. Um, I'll make a comment. It's funny because, you know, it's, it's truly remarkable the, what we've got to experience this weekend, the alumni, and then watching your jersey go to the rafters. And, you know, people don't understand the dedication, the hard work, everything that goes in by all players that are trying to get somewhere. But the fact that you were able to do it for so long is just remarkable. I think we can sit back and say we wanted to play that long. We would love for that to happen, but you really did it. And you're on the top of the mountain. Regardless of what anybody ever says, you achieve that. And uh, I just think that's so special. Was that a speech or a question? No, it was, it was, it was, it was my opportunity to oh, oh. make a statement that, you know, I think a lot of people talk about records and they talk about achievements but then when it happens so close to home with somebody you know I think that's it's uh, it's wild you know I think Patty is permanence that jersey that number is going to be up there beyond all of us yeah your I'm, kids kids are going to see that yeah that that's pretty amazing yeah I never really thought to put it that way but yeah I mean it's a uh, to know that and to, to feel that and uh, to, for my family to have that honor, I mean, they're a huge part of everything, obviously. And um, like I said, you don't you don't get to have something like that happen without the support system, great teammates, uh, fans, uh, family, all that. Hanner, you were seeing the old retro footage here at Batty. Now, you were with him the first time and the second go around. Yeah. Did he change at all over the years? You know, a, a few more, you know, gray hairs, well, I think, that we all have. But, yeah. you know, some of them tonight that I love, you know, in, in this speech, and you got to hear from all the guys that touched. Did you know all those videos were going to get played, or was that the first time you had seen those? Those are some, you know, special. See how many guys you touched over the course of your career. Um, I kind of, they kind of kind of kept things a little quiet on me, so I didn't know who was talking or, or what was going to be said or how everything was going to go. And that, I kind of wanted that way. I wanted to be surprised. And, uh, I mean, obviously I was nervous about the speech and everything like that, but it, it, it went off seamlessly. And um, all the kind words and all those, all the people that have showed up and been part of it, it's, it's truly humbling. I may have seen the itinerary a little bit that an A's legend was going to be out there. I didn't know Chris Mullen would join Raleigh Fingers and Barry Bonds out there. Unbelievable. That so was. Unbelievable. And then uh, I, fortunate enough, they gave me their jerseys and they're signing them. So, no kidding. Uh, yeah, it's super special. Curtis, I've witnessed the Bay Area sports teams do a lot of ceremonies over the years. Giants, obviously, some World Series, 49ers, Warriors. This was the first Sharks big production. And, I mean, they did this man justice, I think. Well, it was spectacular. This whole weekend, really, yeah. the Legends game, I thought, was just spectacular. Hanner, the way that you guys put it together uh, around number 12, it was uh, even better that Brody wasn't invited. I, I appreciate you accommodating that. <laughs> well, there was a Brody there. Um, no, the, no right one, no the right one. The right one. Yeah, I got it, you. The, the whole thing has been spectacular. And, um, obviously, to your point, Brody, I've only been a part of one of these. And it was, they did it top shelf. Patty, your, your boys love hockey, it's clear to see. Yeah. They also love getting into it with each other. <laughs> I can see that. Uh, if they don't eventually pursue hockey or they, they get into something else, I feel like you're the type of guy that's going to support them in anything. Like, you had an awesome career. I just feel like you want awesome things for them. And and that's that's basically just me paying it forward. Right. Uh, I mean, I had so much support over the, over the years teammates parents family friends like we said earlier and um, I'm not too sure if I thank Scotty enough but for what he did for the alumni game I mean going above and beyond putting all these long hours I really do appreciate it so. yeah hey, no I, I mean obviously my pleasure you know and obviously meant so much to the city but us as teammates and you know and friends and everything and I saw that you know like last night at the Legends game and, and for, 
family for me and my boys. And that, that touching moment you said in, in your speech when you said, I wanted to play as long as I can because they could see him play. Was it, How cool was that to get to play with them last night and then to see them right there? I saw tears in their eyes, tears in your eyes. Yeah. I mean, I had tears in my eyes. Yeah, no, that was something super special because they, you know, when you have boys, they're like, and they're young and they don't know like how long you're going to play Absolutely. for and this and that. And they're like, Dad, keep playing. Dad, keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> Dad, keep playing. Maybe you can play long enough where we can play together. So for that to happen last night at the alumni game, is super special. I talked to Christina earlier today. I told the boys this. Be so thankful that you all are old enough to remember this night. I mean, they all grew up during your career, but this night they can remember forever. Um, has it sunk in yet? I don't think so. It's I mean, it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while, yeah. and I I can't stress how much love I felt and how much support I felt over this this whole weekend, and to have guys fly in from like Sweden, right. all across Canada, Frankie. all across the U.S., yeah. and to take time out of their busy schedules to be here to help celebrate this is truly humbling. Now, there's a guy who did help you actually get back to the Sharks. He was doing workouts with you, right? Yeah. And, yeah. Andrew told me, he goes, yeah. I was skating with Patty today. I'm like, Patty's coming back. Shh, shh, shh. Yeah. We didn't know at the time, but he was helping you. And then yeah. what your first game was two goal game against yeah. Chicago of all things yeah. Yeah. on the road. He might add a couple tips. Yeah. So you, you be quiet for a second. You, yeah. you tell me, <laughs> that, what did he help you do in the end? Yeah, uh, that just goes to show you that having a teammate like that right. to come out and help me. I'm still chasing it, but he, you know, right there, I give him a call. Hey, you want to come out? You know, give me some passes, or you know, give me a little bump along the board so I can be be ready when it comes uh, comes time to play again. Uh, I think Settle came out with us too. Yeah, I, I yeah. want to say so. That that just goes to show the support that it takes to to play as long as you can. Curtis Brown. I'm just looking up at warm-ups. Did you know that they were going to wear those jerseys? Everybody's oh, in there. Oh, very number cool. Yeah, that's I mean, that, pretty cool. That is special. Another surprise. I feel, a great I'm, I'm a little, I feel those, I should apologize to the team that pushed the game back 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, by the way. I know what it's like to be on the seven, other side of that, yeah. sitting there like, yeah. I got a game to play. We just want more coffee. We were yeah. just saying, how is anybody <laughs> supposed to focus on that? Uh, this has been awesome, Patrick. I don't want to take too much of your night and more of your time, but enjoy it with your family. We're going to see you hopefully around here. Yeah, Can yeah. you oh, yeah. tell us what lies ahead for you? Um, yeah, I think uh, we still still have our place here, so there's a good chance we'll be back in the Bay Area. He's yeah. coaching kids. <laughs> well, we're going to lure him back. Be. I'm signing them. Hey, <laughs> the kids play hockey. We can lure him back. Yeah. He's got to get the kids. Yeah. Patty, congratulations, buddy. You, buddy. It has been a pleasure the entire time to watch your career and now watch this evening. Patrick Marlowe, first shark ever to have their jersey retired. Number 12 is now in the rafters here permanently at the tank. Yeah, we're going to get you ready for the Sharks and Chicago, but we're not done commemorating this historic night here at SAP Center.